What is up you guys? It is rally week and I am so stoked. We've been planning this for well over a year and I can't believe it's finally here. So the rally starts Saturday morning. It is now Wednesday night. We're in Los Angeles and we have to get up to Seattle. So our plan is to drive from Los Angeles to Sacramento area tonight and then from Sacramento to Seattle. Getting super late Thursday night into Seattle and then we'll be there all day to get the cars all prepped, cleaned, uh, have the kickoff party on Friday. So we're gonna hit the road. We need to grab some food, gas, and then we'll be on our way. <laughs> We got food, we got monsters. Gas tank is full, stomach is full. Stomach is full, let's do this. All right, it's about 11 o'clock. We've been driving for about 100 miles or so. I don't even know what town we're in. Uh, we're about four hours from Sacramento. Lewis and I were just talking. I don't think Lewis is gonna make it. If you've ever driven with Lewis, which not that any of you guys have, but one thing you should know is that he is toast past like one or two and, and like long drives at night, not his thing. So we're kind of assessing where we're gonna stop. We're gonna keep driving for at least probably three hours or so, try to drive till about 2 a.m., just knock out as much of the drive as possible. But we're gonna get back on the road and we'll see you in a little bit. What's up you guys, quick road trip update. So it is 1240 now. We've gone about like 70 miles since I talked to you guys last. We've been stopping at a rest stop for a little bit. Lewis faded earlier than the one o'clock uh, cut off that I mentioned earlier. So he's taking a nap in the car. I'm just chilling, watching some YouTube, catching up on the Bs for build, uh, Lambo build. Uh, if you guys are following that, that is pretty crazy. I'm stoked to see that at SEMA this year, but just wanna keep you guys in the loop. We're gonna get back on the road here soon. I'm not sure if we're gonna end up in Sacramento tonight or what our plan is, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. Road trip update. It is 2.30 in the morning. We made it to Los Baños and we're in, what is it, a Quality Inn? We're in a Quality Inn. We've got about a 14 hour drive from here to Seattle tomorrow. So we're gonna get up. It's like I said, 2.30 right now. We're gonna get up, try to be on the road by nine. Hopefully we're rolling into town by like midnight to one tomorrow, but we'll see you then. All right, good morning, you guys. I can hardly see right now, but it is a little after nine o'clock, which we wanted to be leaving the hotel at nine, so we're a couple minutes behind, but I think overall doing pretty good. So we're gonna hit the road, get headed towards Seattle. We've got about a 14 hour drive ahead of us, so let's get after it. Road trip update. We have made it to Redding, California, which is like the second to last major city on the border of California and Oregon. So we're like just shy of the halfway mark, I think based on mileage back to Seattle. We're getting there. We're just gonna keep trekking. We're gonna grab some food real quick and then we'll be back on the road. Next stop, you know what it is. Woo, baby. Let's go. All right, boys, last road trip update for you guys. We're in Eugene, Oregon, which is about four and a half hours from our final destination of Seattle. We just got food, filled the cars up with gas, which will be our last gas fill up before we get to Seattle. So thank God we've been spending a ton of money on gas. We're done with that until we get up there. And I'm kind of tripping out because they've got 92 octane, which I forgot about. My California boys will feel me. We only get 91 and it's 361 a gallon, which is 80 cents cheaper than the last place we filled up in California. Wow, man, we're paying way too much for gas. So we're gonna go ahead and get back on the road, probably update you guys once we get to Seattle, show you guys that skyline, because at night it looks phenomenal, one of my favorites, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that, but let's hit it.
officially made it to Seattle. It is 1.18 in the morning and we are beat. How are you feeling, Lou? Hungry. A little hungry? Dude. Oh. Fresh blueberry cobbler. Winning, so we are gonna eat, go to bed, and we'll see you in the morning. All right, boys, it is the next day and it's rally kickoff day and I'm so hyped. We are in Seattle. If, you, if you're an OG, you'll recognize this place. We're at our parents' house. That garage is where we used to do all like the installs and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a little throwback to be here, but we're gonna go ahead and start washing the cars. They are absolutely filthy. I don't know how much it's showing up on camera. Wheels are super dirty. Car is pretty filthy. So we're gonna go ahead and get these washed up for the kickoff party tonight. How's your car doing, Lou? Toasted. Toasted? Look at that brown, brown ass tire. Ugly. Definitely not up to our specs. So we're gonna go ahead and wash the cars. I'm not gonna show you guys that. We're gonna go ahead and get them cleaned up right now. All right, cars are shined up and looking way better. Got the Legacy. WRX is looking super clean. Love it. The wheels aren't brake dust colored anymore. They're actually silver. Gotta love that. And check it out, boys. It's official and throwback to the old logo. So we got our logo on here as one of the sponsors. Um, we've got Avance, which if you guys remember, I swapped wagons with Adam. He has that CTSV wagon, which was badass. Sign Planet is back in Arkansas, and then and Archive Media and Washington Media will be providing coverage of the event this weekend. All right, boys, it is time for the kickoff event, which is down at the shop. No, it's not just a shop. It's actually called The Shop, which is, if you're not familiar with the Seattle area, it's like a big warehouse, high-end kind of car storage facility with a restaurant. So we've rented out part of the restaurant for our kickoff event. So we're gonna head down there, get all set up, look forward to meeting a bunch of people, and we'll take you guys along for the ride. And this is why I laughed when everyone was like, oh, you're moving to LA, the traffic's so bad. The traffic in Seattle sucks. I don't know if you guys can see that. That says a 24 minute traffic jam. That's a 24 minute traffic jam on the remainder of our 29 minute drive. Yo, check it out. Seattle is stunting right now. For those of you that didn't watch our videos back when we lived in Seattle, Seattle will always have a special place in my heart. Summertime here, there's nothing better. All right, we're down at the shop and I've been absolutely slammed passing out stickers and shirts and stuff, so we're just getting caught up with you guys. But we've got, if you guys haven't seen the shop before, it's a high-end car storage facility. They've got a restaurant, lifts, all that kind of stuff. So I'll show you guys around what I can in there a little bit and some of the cars in the parking lot because we've got a sick starting lineup and not even all the cars are here yet. So let's go check it out. Alright you guys, that's a wrap on the Northwest Express kickoff event tonight. That was a ton of fun meeting a bunch of new people. If you guys have watched this far in the video, thank you very much. I'm super stoked for this event. We've got a bunch of good content coming for it. We're actually going to head over now to this super sick tunnel that just got opened in Seattle. It goes on for a couple miles and replaced a part of freeway that they tore down. But from what I've seen, it's going to look absolutely epic on video. But while we have the Legacy and the WRX both in Seattle, I definitely want to get some rolling shots in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera all set up. We're going to stop just outside the tunnel, throw it on the Ronin. So what you guys see next should be some absolutely sick footage.
right, boys. I hope you enjoyed those last clips from the tunnel. It was absolutely rowdy in there. But uh, we got some last minute prep work here. It's already like 11.45. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this work done. And then we'll see you guys tomorrow.